What's going on guys, Millsert Man here. I'm gonna do a quick product um, review uh, that I've got on to about pre-finishing uh, Millsert stocks that have excessive amount of shellac or polyurethane or any undesirable gloss finish. Uh, I don't know if you noticed the short I posted my 1944 Inland Division M1 carbine, but it had an excessive amount of uh, some type of shellac, gloss, or I, I don't even really, really know what it was, but it was excessive amount and it was very tacky and it wasn't very comfortable to hold while firing and i asked some of you guys in the military surplus forum um, what you guys used and a couple of you all reached out and told me about this product a citrus strip paint varnish stripping gel with no harsh fumes and very well priced on it's like this this um this 32 ounce jug was only 16 dollars, which i don't think is bad at all and you can see i barely used any I uh, coated my entire stock. I should have done a video on this, but I only have got. I'll insert some pictures as we go on. But um, I applied all of this to my M1 carbine stock the night I bought it and let it sit. And the longer you let this stuff sit on the gun, the better. It'll kind of goop the stuff, uh, bubble it up to the the surface, kind of. And the the very best method I found of getting off of it is you can take shop towels and wipe, or you can take some of the stuff's really stubborn, like on my stock. And what you can do, you can take an old credit card or an old gift card and you can scrape. The The gift card's not going to scratch the wood underneath and you can scrape all the excess goop off the stock. And that's what I've done. I would apply, let it soak in, cut, and I'd scrape. And I've done that around the whole stock, around the, the cracks and edges of the stock. Uh, and I scraped it all off. And once I got all that off, wiped it off um, with a shop towel. A couple of you guys said to also use um, denatured alcohol, which... I used a combination of both. I used the citrus gel to get most of it off, and then I used this with 4 aught steel wool. 4 aught's really fine and really soft on wood and metal. It doesn't hurt the finish on the metal. doesn't hurt the finish on wood. Well, it would. It would. It doesn't hurt the finish on metal. I'm sorry. Um, I used the 4 aught. It's not as aggressive on wood is what I'm trying to say. I used the 4 aught with the denatured alcohol and dried the stock out. I scrubbed and scrubbed on the uh, stubborn places and just let that sit out in the sun on a good hot day. That's the key to that. And I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and used the denatured alcohol. And I'll go ahead and search you a picture of what that looked like when I was finished with that. And after I had done that, I let the stock sit for a little while, about 30 minutes to an hour, and I poured some boiled linseed oil into a jug with a foam brush, and I applied the boiled linseed oil all over the stock, and I let it sit for a while. And the key of boiled linseed oil is to rub all of the stock and rub hard. Rub you want to block. You're like pushing that oil into the grain, so you just want to constantly rub. You want that oil sit. You want to rub it in. You want to scrub it you want to do that and then i would let it I'd apply i applied my first coat rubbed it let it dry applied a second coat let it rub in i applied a total of four coats of boiled linseed oil to my stock and um i kept running that in and that completely changed the look of this carbine it uh it really really saved the looks of this carbine kind of restored it back to its original look with the what the u.s military did use at the time uh, i uncovered a rockola rmc stock under that and a OC cartouche or OG arc cartouche which I've never seen before but I just want to kind of go over this product I done and if you have any similar things it doesn't take a whole lot to do it um, like I said I barely used any of these I still have plenty plenty more to do in another project but I just want to let you guys know about this sweet product and if y'all got any questions or comments just let me know and I'll try to help you best I can because I'm an amateur woodworker I don't know much about it but this was a very simple process and I'm very happy how my car being turned out thanks guys for watching I appreciate it